The Sunday School lesson for November 12th, 2023, week 11, is Nehemiah, the captive cupbearer, rebuilds a nation. Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 11 through 20, New Living Translation. Welcome, viewers and subscribers, to my channel, Read With Me. I am Audrey. This is an audio reading of the lesson summary. Please share this audio with your friends, your Bible study class, your Sunday school class, and others. And remember, if this video is of any value to you, please subscribe. Thank you so much in advance. A brief summary. Three days after arriving in Jerusalem, Nehemiah examined what was left of the city wall. The few others with Nehemiah were probably personal servants who accompanied him from Susa. Nehemiah was not ready to tell the local leaders what was on his mind. Nehemiah's nocturnal inspection of the wall names some of the gates, but the precise location are unknown. The valley gate probably was located on the western side of the city. The Dong Gate is thought to have been on the eastern side of the southern part. The Fountain Gate is thought to have faced the Kidron Valley on the east side of Jerusalem. The steepness of the slope into the valley is good for defensive purposes, but the accumulated debris and the steep slope made it impossible for Nehemiah to keep riding. He continued examining the wall to the north before turning around and retracing his route to the first gate. Five groups of people are mentioned here, but the precise distinctions among these groups are not known. The visual aids were all around. He reviewed the trouble, the ruins, and the situation of the gates. Then he offered the staring challenge to remove the disgrace. Nehemiah reinforced his plan by recounting the providential acts that had brought him there, and he revealed that he had royal approval. Sanballat and Tobiah were mentioned in verse 10. Geshem was a powerful Arab leader to the south. These enemy leaders knew that using force against Nehemiah could bring the wrath of Artaxerxes. So they resorted to mockery, threats, and ridicule. Perhaps they hoped that Nehemiah would retaliate with force, for that would justify the accusation of rebellion against the king. Thank you so much for listening. Join me soon for the next audio reading of the lesson summary. Stay safe and may God bless.